हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन माई लास्ट लेक्चर आई हैड एक्सप्लेन द लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ मोमेंटम एंड इट्स मैथमेटिकल प्रूफ टूडे वी सेल सॉल्व द एन सी आर टी एक्सरसाइज ऑफ चैप्टर फोर्सेस एंड लॉज ऑफ मोशन सो सी वट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर वन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन स्टेट्स दैट एन ऑब्जेक्ट एक्सपीरियंसिस ए नेट जीरो एक्सटर्नल अर्बेलेंस फोर्स Is it possible for the object to be travelling with a non-zero velocity? If yes, the conditions that must be placed on the magnitude and direction of the velocity. If no, provide a reason. So see here, what a beautiful practical application of Newton's first law of motion is given here. What is Newton's first law of motion? Newton's first law of motion states that any object. Will either remain at the state of rest or of uniform motion in a straight line, unless it is compelled by an unbalanced external force. So, in this case, what we see, an object experiences a net zero external unbalanced force. So, if net zero net force is zero, then according to first law of motion, object will either remain at the state of rest. or of uniform motion in a straight line so it is possible so answer will be yes 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 why because because from newton's first law of motion first law of motion any object will either remain at the state of rest or of uniform motion uniform motion in a straight line a straight line unless it is compelled by an unbalanced unbalanced external force so here the external force is zero thus it is possible for the object to remain in non zero velocity non zero motion that is it may continue uniform motion in a straight line now the second part of this question is that if yes state the conditions so the conditions conditions applied for what conditions for what it is given here conditions that must be placed on the magnitude and direction applied for this case r first magnitude the object should remain in uniform motion this is magnitude uniform motion motion must be uniform uniform motion and second condition related to direction magnitude and direction and second the object must travel in a a straight line this is direction so direction should be in a straight line and magnitude should be uniform thus we solved our question number 1 now see question number 2 what is question number 2 now see question number 2 this question is that when a carpet is beaten with a stick dust comes out of it explain 
so this is practical application of newton's first law of motion we have seen so many practical applications of first law of motion so how we can write answer of this question hello if a carpet is beaten if a carpet is beaten with a stick with a, a stick then the carpet comes into motion comes into motion but the dust particles linked with it or associated with it with it try to remain at rest due to the inertia of rest inertia of rest so the dust particles come out from it come out from it so you pause the video and try to write answers clearly now see what is question number 3 see your question number 3 question number 3 of your ncert exercise page number 128 ha na so ncert n c e r t page number 128 exercise problem question number 3 why it is advised to tie any luggage kept on the roof of a bus with a rope so see what is the situation suppose you put any luggage at the roof of a bus then initially bus is at rest then luggage is also at rest but when bus starts to move then luggage also move with the same speed now suppose the bus is moving with very high speed and the driver takes sudden break then what happens bus comes to rest but luggage tries to remain in motion due to inertia of motion due to inertia of motion so luggage fall from the roof so answer will be here answer answer if any luggage luggage is kept kept on the roof of a bus then the luggage moves with the same speed same speed of the bus but suddenly when the driver takes an emergency brake brake b r a k here brake brake then the bus comes to rest but the luggage tries to remain in motion 
due to the inertia of motion so it falls from the roof of the bus thus it is tied tied with a rope ha na for safety precaution it is tied with a rope for safety precaution now what is question number 4 see question number 4 it is very interesting question a batsman hits a cricket ball which then rolls on a level ground see this is the situation suppose this is a surface and this is your cricket ball this is surface or uh, this is your ground ground cricket ground it is not uh, very broad available in our school but in your surrounding you have played cricket in different fields so suppose this is ball it is just hit by batsman ball moves on ground but gradually it slows down and finally it stops after traveling a certain distance so why it stops consider you have already read in class 8 friction and what is friction you will see in this chapter there are many questions based on the concept of friction although it is not given in class 9 the topic friction is not given in class 9 but there is so many applications of force of friction which gives us information that in science our knowledge will be interlinked means aapne class 8 tak jo padha sari baatein aapke dimag mein rehni chahiye tabhi aapke class 9 ka problem smoothly aage badhega this is very beautiful concept of physics that your previous knowledge is very important so always try to recite your previous knowledge now see what is force of friction force of friction is defined as it is a force which opposes the relative motion between surface in contact and suppose this is ball this is ground then force of friction comes into action at the surface in contact and it always works in opposite direction so force of friction always acts in the opposite direction of movement with this concept now see which will be the right answer answer number a the batsman did not hit the ball hard b velocity is proportional to the force exerted c there is a force on the ball opposing the motion this is the right answer and d there is no unbalanced force so here the right answer will be your option number c that is there is a force this is the force there is a force on the ball opposing the motion so now question number 5 question number 5 see what is question number 5 a truck starts from rest truck starts from rest and rolls down a hill with a constant acceleration it travels a distance of 400 meter in 20 second find its acceleration find the force acting on it if its mass is 7 tons so dear students during solving numericals of physics first of all we collect the data which is given in our any question so first of all you can write according to the question or simply given what information are given here see a truck starts from rest so we shall translate it into physics i have stated many times that develop the ability to translate into physics you read the statement and convert it into physical term so first sentence states that a truck starts from rest and we shall write that 
the initial velocity initial velocity initial velocity of the truck and the initial velocity is represented by u this is equal to 0 why because it starts from rest it starts from rest now it fall down to a hill with a constant acceleration and it travels a distance now the distance travel the distance traveled traveled and distance travel is represented by small s it is given here how much distance the truck has traveled before come uh, no, during falling so it travels a distance of 400 meter 400 meter now what what are more, more, more information time taken the time time taken which is represented by small t and this is equal to here 20 seconds so time taken is 20 seconds find its acceleration find the force so now acceleration 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 a is equal to what force applied how much force was applied huh? so first what is acceleration find the force acting on it find its acceleration and find force acting on it so force f is equal to what and mass is also given mass of the truck mass of the truck which is represented by small m is given here 7 tons 7 tons but ton is not assigned it is given in your book in hint that 1 ton is equal to 1000 kg so we shall write 7 tons is equal to 7000 kg we write all physical quantities into assignments so now the question is here that what will be the amount of force so we have to calculate force before calculating force Anna? if we know acceleration so if we calculate here acceleration then to calculate force will be very easy to ab ab is question mein aap dekhe ab sikhna kya hai sikhna hai ki acceleration ke liye aapke paas kaun kaun sa equation hai so you have already read three equations first velocity time relation v is equal to u plus ut second position time relation s is equal to ut plus half at square and velocity position or position velocity relation v square is equal to u square plus 2s so what is concept and how we can solve any numerical so dear student you write these equations in any corner of your answer sheet or your notebook now consider which equation is fruitful to you here so we use that equation in which maximum physical quantities are given in first equation we have u v a and t Anna? we have only u and t we have not the information of v so in second this equation c we have given s s is given in question u is given t is given so in this equation we see we have three physical quantities none so this equation will be very fruitful to us to solve this question so this is intelligence this is concept aapko kaun sa question is question mein kaun sa formula lagana hai because you have different formulas this is your merit and how can you develop this ability this ability can be achieved with consistent practice aap jitna practice karte jayenge aapke dimag mein sudden strike karega ki kis question mein kaun equation lagana hai kya hai iska technique jis equation ka adhik se adhik physical quantity diya hua hai kam se kam humko nikalna hai 
वही हमारे लिए सबसे फ्रूटफुल हो जाएगा सो so, हमको एस पता है यू पता है टी पता है ए निकालना है दस दिस इक्वेशन के लिए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो नाउ वी कैन राइट फ्रॉम इक्वेशन फ्रॉम इक्वेशन एस इज इक्वल टू यू टी प्लस हाफ ए टी स्क्वायर वी पुट द वैल्यू वॉट इज एस द वैल्यू ऑफ एस इज फोर हंड्रेड मीटर वी राइट इनिशियली ओनली फिजिकल क्वान्टिटीज विदाउट यूनिट सो वी राइट ओनली न्यूमेरिकल वैल्यू फोर हंड्रेड यू यू इज गिवे जीरो टी इज ट्वेंटी सेकेंड दिस प्लस हाफ दिस इन टू ए टी स्क्वायर टाइम इज ट्वेंटी सेकेंड सो ट्वेंटी स्क्वायर फोर हंड्रेड नाउ यू कैन सी दिस फोर हंड्रेड विथ टू सो टू हंड्रेड और यू कैन सी हेयर दैट ट्वेंटी इंटू जीरो दैट इज दिस इज दिस टर्म इज जीरो we can transfer lhs to rhs and rhs to lhs so we have to calculate a b transfer this whole term to lhs what we can write 200 a is equal to 400 therefore a is equal to 400 this divided by 200 and finally we have to calculate acceleration so what is the assignment of acceleration meter per second square 10 से 10, फिर 0 से 0 कैंसिल दिस इज इक्वल टू 2 मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर सो दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्सलेशन नाउ इफ कैलकुलेट वी कैलकुलेटेड एक्सलेशन देन टू कैलकुलेट फोर्स इज वेरी इजी सो नाउ फोर्स एफ इज इक्वल टू एम इन टू ए दिस इज इक्वल टू एम इज सेवन थाउजेंड के जी एंड एक्सलेशन इज टू मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर and we have to calculate force so finally we can write the assign it of force newton this is equal to 14000 newton so now you today's your homework is that ha na today's your homework is that solve exercise of chapter laws of motion and revise it five times five times each why because you have to learn something you have not just fulfill the quorum मैक्सिमम स्टूडेंट कोरम पूरा करते अपने माता पिता को दिखाते टीचर को दिखाते कि मैं पढ़ लिया बट इट इज़ नॉट रियल लर्निंग द मीनिंग ऑफ लर्निंग दैट यू हैव डेवलप्ड द एबिलिटी टू गिव दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन टू अदर्स आपके ही एज का बहुत सारा आपका साथी ऐसा है कि क्लास नाइन का क्वेश्चन नाइन के स्टूडेंट को बताता है तो आप में ऐसी एबिलिटी होनी चाहिए कि आप तब तक इसको पढ़ें जब तक कि आप में दूसरे को बताने की क्षमता नहीं आ जाए रियली अगर तुम ये क्वेश्चन दूसरे स्टूडेंट को बता सकते हो तब समझो कि तुम सीख लिया दिस इज रियल लर्निंग आउटकम ऑलवेज ट्राई टू एच दैट एबिलिटी थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच